Hello there, gamers. Hey, it's Cast55, and you are staying alive with Cast55. So, Funcom did a major big update on the 6th of July um, that was supposed to fix all sorts of problems in their server and acknowledge all sorts of other problems. Well, if you remember my previous game, on these pedestals, I had archers on them all. Well, I can't put archers on them because now there is a new glitch. They just fall through. Uh, and sometimes I lose them, sometimes they swim around, but they just, it's just a, an area here around. I don't know what happened, but they fall through. Another thing that's happened with my thralls is, as you see, none of them are holding weapons. If I go and pick any one of them, you can see that, yes, if I put, oh, come on, cooperate. I can put the weapons in, and then the other line disappears. But just like rotting meat, given a little bit of time, they will generate an extra spot in their inventory and put their weapons away. Um, I don't know what that's going to mean. That's probably going to mean they're going to be fighting with their fists when the next uh, purge comes along because they're not going to keep their weapons out. As soon as I walk away far enough uh, that the camp is out of sight, he will put his weapons away. So that's another major glitch problem with, since they're fixed. Uh, but okay, well, we will deal. We'll let them know what happened and we'll, we'll s hopefully they can get stuff fixed. I know they're trying to, to keep their server people happy because that's a lot of people really prefer playing the multiplayer game. So anyway, okay, I will get back with you when something exciting happens here. I just wanted to show you that stuff right off the bat. And I will get back with you when we get some new stuff going on. Okay, there is a bear cave up here. I am going to give this a shot. This is probably not a smart idea, but what the hell. Here he comes. Oh, maybe not so bad. Nice, nice, nice. Because bears, if I can take them on, I have a um, better weapon than I've had before. Nice. Okay, I need the, the thick fur. Or, so, the thick leather, I mean. So, if we look at my inventory, my I have a exceptional hardened steel great sword. That's a new improvement for me. So, alright, we took the bear out. It was worth it. And the other thing you'll notice, if you look back up at my health, I am already healed. That's because I have finally achieved that passive healing um, due to having enough vitality. Yay, on both scores. Better weapon, passive healing. All right, so I just wanted to try that. I'd never gone toe to toe with a bear. Uh, so I wanted to see how I'd fare. Came out pretty good. So I'm going to let you guys go again until we come up to something a little more exciting. So okay, I'm up here on the other side. Um, if we look at the map, I'm up in this area. I have, There's a new village over here, I have a little encampment I have not been to. Looks like they have some type of a priest or some type of an altar there. Um, okay, and let's see found this stone. I wanted you guys to be here when I listened to it. So here we go. First, they're, like, asking for your help, and then it's almost threatening at the end. Hmm. Well, let's see if we can make out of this little village here. I don't see anybody yet. Well, there's somebody over on the other side. There's somebody dancing at their shrine. Has to 
come after me. Yes. Because I don't have any shield to defend myself with anymore. Oh yeah. Use. Thank you. Okay, so this archer's down. Get rid of that. Get rid of the flesh. Alright. So let's see what we got here. Nordhoff. I have discovered Nordhoff. Carpenter here, and I don't have my uh, trudgeon. Not only that, I don't think I have room on my wheel at the moment. So that's worth remembering that there's a carpenter here. Let's take some more of the steel. Oops. Let's give us some lingering essence here. junk. So, they have a carpenter's bench here and a carpenter. Um, it'll probably vary between like level, somewhere between levels 1 and 2. Uh, level 2 would be really nice since I have no carpenter at my new base at the moment. So, what shrine is this? Okay, that's Nordhoff. Another little encampment in the middle of nowhere. This... There's a tower up here, but it doesn't look right. It's not right. It's all busted up. Okay. Um, we're starting to get towards dark. I don't like fighting in the dark. Oh, we have a little base down here. I think I've been here. I think I accidentally stumbled across this. I don't think I fought them, but um, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe this is a different one. Fisher's Hut. So I haven't been here before. Bridge of the Betrayer. Well, that must be that bridge. I'm going, there's no bridge this way. Well, that's a pretty impressive bridge, though. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can take care of these guys. I can see you, Exile. Oh, we got a ghosty guy here. There's a book there to read. Okay, we'll take a look. I don't care about that. 
Uh, nah, not worth it. Okay, just get the collect, collect the lingering essence. There's no chests, but there is a book. Let's see what the book says. Oh. Like, oh, there is a chest, too. It's over here, hiding. Take the steel, because I need that. I will use that right now. Just hunger, and that's all I really care about in this, but let's find out what the book says. Description. Fellow traveler, I am Ragnus, master of the sword and destroyer of Toth Amon, warrior supreme and drinker of blood. But not even I can slit the throat of the skies. The weather has forced me to move my camp onwards. Seek me out to the west. When we meet, I shall teach you the ways of the blade like I have done many before. But fear not. As part of my army, you shall experience the glory of war and victory. We shall eat honey-glazed honey poultry in the halls of my numerous castles. Oh, well, he's got uh, no ego, does he? Okay, that's like supposed to be sitting on a bench or something, I think. I don't think it's supposed to be floating in midair. Yeah, there's a lot of glitches ever since they did this um, big update of theirs. So anyway, okay, that's cool. We know now that there's some other blade master out there. Um, so let's go up this way to this little bridge. I don't think I'm going to be able to cross it. It looks cold. Do not have any of my warm weather stuff with me, and I'm already cold on the thermometer. Ooh. Yeah, I'm already cold. But an impressive bridge, to say the least. Nice picture, right there. Okay. Yeah. Oh look, my thermometer's going down as I cross. My little cold thermometer. I can literally watch it drop. I can't do this. I need better insulated armor for this. That's actually the entrance to the frozen north, I think. The real main entrance, so. Okay. We'll come back to that though. Don't worry, we shall come back. Look at this. Look at these rocks here. My teeth are like claws coming out of the ground. What hides in here? There's a lot of iron. God Claws Passage. Well, the claws was the right uh, analogy. God Claws Passage. Uh-huh. What gods are we talking about? Not seeing anything yet. Lots of iron. Tons and tons of iron. Iron for days. I haven't seen a single creature yet, though. And it's about to get dark, so if there is a creature in here, I certainly don't want to face it in the dark. Get out of here. That's kind of a passage to that bridge. What have we here? Looks like we've got some ruins here, too. Skyholm ruins. Yes, we do. Anything of interest? Any little ghosty people going to show me anything? Teach me anything? Any recipes? Come on, guys. Don't 
just have ruins for no no reason. Ooh. It's a way down. Oh, and there's wolfies right at the bottom. A whole bunch of them. Okay. It is getting dark. All right, I'm going to let you guys go because it's getting dark. We can't see anymore in the video. I will come back when it is daylight. Hang in there, guys. So, okay, here comes the sun. Let's see what we got here. Doing okay everywhere. This is an impressive complex. Got a guy hanging out here on the side. Let's take him out. That's what I was afraid of, that he might be a bowman. takes care of that guy. Don't need the wood. Don't need the rock. Thought I was going to set up a campfire, but nope. So I can get rid of some of that extra weight. Let's go get this one. Damn it, there's an archer up on the tower. That's going to be a bit of a problem for me. Maybe not. Good, they're dead. Nothing? Nothing. Okay. The Ward Towers. That is where I'm at. Another single archer dude over here. I gotta be careful, I have no idea what type of peeps are here. This is an interesting looking place. There's two, and they are coming for me. Alright. Well, that's two less. Towers. Okay. What are these things? What do we have here? Deep's coming. That's what I have. Sweet. Huh, he has an iron shield, but the shield's not gonna do me any good right now. So I just just collect my little things, my lingering essence, and move on. 
Excess weight. Really don't need you. Okay. I don't need the oil either. Okay. Let's keep going. Interesting, it's fenced in. Sandward Tower. Look at the gate on this. Is it open? It's not open. Okay, so I can't get in that way. Uh huh. So the only way in this is gonna be climb. That means I need to bring climbing gear and a chest so I can ditch my armor uh, and climb up these towers. Alright, but we're gonna keep exploring then right now. Find out the name of all of them. at all. That would have left a mark. <laughs> Alright. So what's the name of this one? Let's find them all out. Godsword Tower. So I got a couple of worshippers and a priest here. What type of priest? Uh, yeah! About to find out. Archer. It's not a priest. I thought that was going to be a priest. Bear pelts. I'll take that. More gold. I'll take that. that body parts. So I still have one more tower I haven't been to yet, but let's take a quick look at this altar here. So yeah, there's one more tower down there. Let's go check it out to find out its name. Like I say, I'm going to have to bring some climbing gear back here and climb up these towers in the future. That'll be another trip. There we go. I was trying to get your attention. Oh God, you got a spear. Javelin dude, javelin dude. No, don't give him a chance to get up. Do not give him a chance to get up. Thank you. Uh, level 3 javelin dude could mess me up real quick. <laughs> or not lance, I mean, not javelin, lance. Yes, he could. Come on, guards. Do your thing. Nice. I'm liking this sword. Go 
Ghostward Tower. Okay. What's that? Let's take that. Interesting, okay. So same story on all these towers. They've got these massive gates that I'll never break through. Um, they are going to have to be climbed. That is the only way around that. So what do we got here? Where am I? So there's kind of a back way up to these towers, it looks like here. Oh my, what is that? <laughs> Thank you for the good grip there. Looks like this might have been part of an an aqueduct or some type coming through here. Hmm. What I was curious about is over here in the top of this hill. It may be nothing, it may just be trees. Could just be trees. Kind of looked like some type of little altar thing from a distance, but once you get up close, it's just trees. There's the river. Okay. So this is the river that divides. What the heck? Look at the swords in the ground up there. I have swords. Very cold. I bet it is swimming in a river in the winter. <laughs> All right, let's see what these swords are. My poor guy's cold. Ghosty stuff. Up. Oh, I got a visitor. But I was hearing ghosty stuff. Did I miss ghosty stuff? No, there it is. Oh, whoa. Oh, it's one of the. Oh, look at all the guys! They set up a trap. They killed the dude. Whatever those creatures are that were uh, keeping us under under wraps here. Okay, so this fell. Looks like the sword fell. Does that mean anything? Or is that just BS? Ah, just BS for this, okay. How about the other one? No, that doesn't look like there's anything on top of that one either. 
Oh, there's a chest. You say with all that, there had to be a chest. I'm not high enough level yet. Well, I'm not level 60 yet, so this must be another one of the legacy chests, which we've run into several. So now we know map. Uh, at the Circle of Swords is another one of the legacy chests. What are we? Huh? Oh. Jeez, I didn't even see this thing. It's another one of these critters. That as soon as I'm level 60 and open up that chest, I know it's going to come after me. That's what it's waiting for. Wow, I didn't even see this dude. Yeah, it's another one of those kind of wood monster, kind of half wood, half rock nose, half whatever, half skeleton boss creature sitting there. Ooh, that's not good. Uh huh. So we're gonna go around him right now. I don't wanna wait. Let sleeping dogs lie. Alright, so I'm gonna let you guys go until something else exciting happens here. Hang in there. Okay, so I'm here at the King's Niche. I've been here before, but something happened this time that did not happen last time. Um, I had the ghosty figures, but I didn't have any book. So here, a new book showed up. Let's see what it's got to say. Ah, Rakens, or Rake Eyes, journal number five, fellow traveler, uh, ultimate warrior, I am uh, Rackness, I think is how it's probably said, Rackness. Um, ultimate warrior and conqueror of the world, legend of the sword and battle master of the gods. This place is too hot. I will travel north tomorrow towards the settlement I see in the distance. There I will make everyone bow to my fists. All right, so Rackness, not a real nice guy. This place is too hot. And I still don't know what this place is. Yeah, no, I'm still afraid to go in there just yet. I have a feeling it's gonna let something real nasty out of there. So I'm gonna keep looking for Rackness. He said he was heading north. That's that way. Yes, it is. All right, I'm gonna let you go again until something else happens. Hang in there, guys. Okay, so I've gone a little north from where I saw um, Rackness's note. We just discovered the Mounds of the Dead. But it looks like there's quite an encampment or something directly in front of me. You can see the kind of arch or something there. I'm not so sure I want to be around the mounds of the dead, though. Oh, look at all the mushrooms. This type of mushroom. This is a different type of mushroom. I still don't really know what this mushroom is for. It could be for cooking, it could be for making some type of specialty orb, because the other mushrooms made gaseous orbs. It could just be to make gaseous orbs, for all I know, at this point. But it's a little um, harder to find, you kind of, than the other ones, so I don't think it's just a straight little simple gaseous orb. Although they are all around this lake. campsite right there. What is this? Crimson lotus flower. Ooh, I've never run into that before. I read s there was something about that in the update. Something about crimson lotus flowers. 
I do not know what it was. Okay. This person does not seem... I'm going to put my sword away for a minute. Almost looks like this, yeah. They've got to be a talking character. They're not... Braga! What brings you to this god's cursed corner of the world, Exile? Behold, the pride of Cimmeria, a clan of soft-minded fools who think they've died and gone to Crom's realm. Never mind that we walk through a desert to get here. Never mind that we can still take pleasure and pain in equal measure. Oh no, we must be in the afterlife, because it's foggy. I don't know how much help I can be to you, stranger. I can't even seem to convince my kinsmen to give up their delusion. I feel like I must stay here. The goat livered idiots in this clan are still my kin. And there are whites, of course. It's an endless battle to retain my sanity. I came north with a companion, a Shemite who cut me from the cross. He died on the road, but before he did, we saw a great deal of this land. Here, we have an ancient battlefield. The crimson lotus that blossoms in the soil is proof that blood was once spilled in great quantities. Nor, there is snow in ice and a temple all a glitter with frost and fallen stars. I have spoken with a strange frost giant who told me we were living in a dream. In the volcano, I met a strange cult who claimed to hear whispers from the ruins there. They tried to stop me from leaving, but I left them to their delusions. North is a black keep, and the silent legion who guard it. I dare not stray too close. That is the north. I have also ventured into the east. First, I found the whole enemies, the Asir and the Paneer. Now lied and calling themselves the heirs of the door. I passed by their village, where they heard mammoths and worship the frozen god. On an island, I met a ghost who sang to me, and though I did not understand her words, it made me weep. I found the cave, which led to a passage, which led to a swamp, where cruel and twisted creatures stalked the stagnant waters. But still, Further east, I came to the shore of an ocean or an inland sea. Here, I spoke with pirates building a ship to set them free. These are the things I saw in the east. But west? There is only one thing in the west. A tomb built into the side of a mountain, sealed with a huge door. I tried to get inside but there is some spell or curse which prevents it, and I do not hold with witchcraft. There was a dead man by the entrance. Perhaps his spirit would have tales to tell. I will stay here and defend my people, stranger. But hold our hope that they will eventually come to their senses, and we can make a plan to escape this empty place. But you. You have no obligation to me or my people. Find a way to bring the curse wall down. Free us all. I don't know how much help I can be to you, stranger. Mm. I can't even seem to okay, convince my so. kinsmen to give up their delusion. I feel like I must stay here. The goat livered idiots in this clan are still my kin. Oh, there look at that. Rights, of course. We it's have an another. There is crimson lotus everywhere. He's right about that. interested in right now is we have another obelisk that we can attune to.
So that was Braga. We finally found out what happened to him. It wasn't a really great ending for him, now was it? Corruption, corruption. I'm getting corruption. Yes, I am. Tune, a tune. Okay, I gotta get out of here. Too much corruption. Oh. oh, you can see it start to show. If you look up at my uh, bars, you can see the purple starting to to come along for the corruption. So there is corruption in the game. I hadn't had any time where I had had enough that it actually registered, but it did there. Yellow Lotus, Crimson Lotus. All right, so I'm going to let you go. Uh, we found Braga. We've been following him all along. It's kind of interesting to know what happened to him. We found Crimson Lotus. We found... Well, actually, we found a lot. But right now, we're here at the Mounds of the Dead, which is the Crimarian Crim Crim uh, main camp. Notice, like I said before, each of the main camps, each have their own little colored thing for each of the groups. So this is another one. Somewhere in here is a big base. Probably on top of one of these. Oh, that might be it over there. Um, one of these mounds. Okay, so I'm going to let you guys go. This is Cas55, and we're staying alive with Cas55. Getting closer and closer to heading into the frozen north. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like what you see, hit the like button. You want to see more, hit the subscribe.